assalamu alaikum dear students now today let's learn how to change imperative and interrogative sentences from active voice to passive voice let's take first imperative sentences imperative sentences as you know are the sentences which express command order request advice or suggestion so we can say the sentences which express command order request advice or suggestion such sentences are called as imperative sentences now let us first take command or order so if there is any imperative sentences any imperative sentence which is in active voice and that expresses some command or order let us see how to change such sentences from active voice to passive voice number first passive imperative here it begins with let followed by object in the passive so number first is passive imperative here begins with let followed by object in the passive number second this imperative verb it becomes be plus past participle or simply we can say the third form of the verb now i will write here an example open the door now here the object is the door i will write here let the door now be opened third form let the door be opened or i will write another example tell her to wait outside now again let her be told third form to wait outside now in the imperative sentence there can be advice or suggestion there can be advice or suggestion so when there is any imperative sentence that expresses advice or suggestion let us see how to change such sentences from active voice to passive voice number first the object of the imperative verb it becomes subject the object of the imperative verb imperative verb becomes subject in passive number second this imperative verb when the sentence expresses advice or suggestion this imperative verb becomes should must plus be plus past participle now i will write here some examples take medicine on time now the object is medicine i will write medicine should be taken on time another example obey your teachers now i will this sentence is in active voice i will change this sentence in passive i will write teachers must be obeyed because must is more strong than should i will write here teachers must be obeyed now there can be an imperative sentence which expresses request now let us see how to change 
such sentences from active voice to passive voice. Now number third is request. Here in the passive voice, we usually write you are requested to. And in these sentences, in these imperative sentences which express request, we usually find please and kindly. And in the passive voice, if you find please and kindly, it is usually placed between may and be in the passive voice. Now I will write here an example. Kindly grant me a week's leave. Now I want to change this sentence, this express request. I will change it. One normal way is you are requested to grant me a week's leave. Now why I write you? Because in imperative sentences, the subject is understood and that is you. I will change this sentence into passive voice. You are requested to grant me a week's leave. Or I can use this me as a subject. Then I can write I may kindly be granted a week's leave. Even I can use this as a subject and in this case I can write a week's leave may kindly be granted to me. Now let's have a look how to change Interrogative sentences from active voice to passive voice. Interrogative sentences. Interrogative sentences Interrogative sentences are the sentences which ask questions. And these sentences, they end on note of interrogation. You know it very well. Now let us see if there is any question in the active voice which begins with who. How it can be changed into passive voice. Now usually in the passive voice, who is changed into by whom. Then we write the suitable or the appropriate, appropriate form of verb be. Do you know? Is, am, or, was, were, been, and being. Then the object of the active becomes subject in passive. So the object becomes a subject in passive. And we use the past participle. Or third form of the verb. So while changing the sentence which begins with who, while changing such sentences from active to passive voice, we write who, we write by whom in the passive, then we use the appropriate form of uh, be, Ob object of the active become a subject in passive and we write the past participle or the third form of the verb. But here one thing you have to remember, while changing the say, such sentences which are interrogative from active to passive voice. They are not changed into declarative sentences. They remain interrogative sentences as well in the passive voice. Now I will write here an example. Who wrote this book? Now I will change this sentence. This sentence is in active voice. I will change this sentence in passive voice. I will write by whom now the verb is second form. I will write was this book written. There is another way to change such sentences from active to passive voice. Like this. Who was this book written by? 
Here is the difference. In the first sentence, the proportion is at the beginning. In the second sentence, the proportion is at the end. Such type of sentences you will find in current English grammar books. So, both these sentences are correct. Whatever appears simple to you, you can change it accordingly. Now, other question word questions. For example, which begin with other question word questions which begin with, for example, when, why, where, etc. They are transformed in the normal way. I will write here some examples. Where did they find the purse? Now I will change this sentence into passive. Where here is the second form of the verb. I will write where was then the object the purse found by them. Another example. Why have you done it? Now I will change this sentence into passive. Why? Now here the object it is you know have will be changed into has because have is not possible with it. I can change this. Why has it been done by you? Now there are other types of questions which are called as yes no questions. Let us see how to change these questions from active voice to passive voice. Yes no questions. And you know these yes no questions they begin with helping verbs for example do, does, did, have, had, etc. Let us see how to change these sentences from active voice to passive voice. Now do or does in the passive they are usually changed into is, am, or whatever is suitable. And did will be changed into was and were. Now let's take some examples. Does she sing a song? Now does will be changed into is because I have to write here a song. Is a song sung by her? Another. Have you finished the work. Now I will change this sentence into passive. I will write. Now I have to write here the work. So have is not possible. I will write here has. Then I will write the work. Been. Finished. By you. Now there are. Some other sentences as well. And I have here discussed mostly those sentences which are usually asked in the examination. And I hope that these sentences, they may help you to understand the topic in a good manner. Thank you.